What's going on, my crafters and my craftettes? Christopher Carousella, and I'm gonna do my first little crafting video. I'm gonna show you guys how to I put this together real quick. Now, the first thing you're gonna need is tiny little jars. Somebody posted these in um the group a while back. I was like, where'd you get them from, man? eBay, tiny little jars, eight dollars, forty of them. Never need another jar again. Um. You're going to need beads. I found my beads at Walmart. It was in a clear pack about 2 inches by 2 inches. And it, I got the gold ones, the silver ones, and there was a bunch of different sorts. It's like $2, man. Um, I got them now in here, and it's hard to show you. But look in the bead section at Walmart, and I'm sure yours has them all. So you're going to need some popsicle sticks. Um, so I put some things together. And the first three popsicle sticks you're going to need are three and a half inches. Pre glued them. You're going to need two more that are three by 11 sixteenths. You're going to need four that have rounded edges that are an inch and a half. And you're going to need one that's three by seven sixteenths. I hope that this goes together like I um, planned because I just measured the other one. Uh, so, <clears throat> those jars, you're going to have to find stuff to put in them. I've been um, putting rocks and stuff. I found these rocks, awesome rocks at uh, the dollar store. Bunch of different color rocks. And that's what I've been using. I've been putting them in there. and filling the jars up with them so I'm putting these on the side like so Boom. I'm going to hit the other side up any excess hot glue go ahead and get it up off that unless you want like Spider webs hanging around them, which is cool too. Some old webbing. So I got that. Those are the inch and a half ones. Kind of make sure that everything's straight. Um, or it could be crooked. It could be old beat up shelf. Put this along the bottom. Like so. And then I can set this down. Hopefully this will fit. I got one or two, a little bit bigger. Oh yeah, get it looking. And the thing is, you need to make sure that it actually sits on the um, table flat. Like I made my first one, and it was all cocked up. So kind of might have to play around with it, but you can definitely make sure it's flat. Get your glue in the areas you want it. Holding the bookshelf how you want it to be held. Help it dry some. This is actually a little bit bigger. So I will get my snips and trim it off. Mm. Oh yeah. Once that's gone, boom, got that together. Sits pretty flat. Um, it's a little bit rocking. I don't mind at all. My players don't mind. So, and then you take this piece. This is the shelf. So, you, hopefully it'll fit in there pretty tightly. And you can put it where you want. I'm going to go off of my original one and kind of put it in the middle. I'm just making sure I could get it to get in there. I'm actually going to have to trim it some so my measurements were not precise, which is awkward considering how many measurements I take in a day. I'm 
gonna snip it one more time. All right, that should go in there pretty well now. So this is starting to get a little weak. I'm gonna put some on the inside. And what I do is I smear it. It kind of sucks. It burns some, but it helps hold it, strengthen it. So hopefully this thing will fit this time. All right, yes, yeah, it will. So I'm gonna put glue around all the edges of this. Eyeball it to where I want it. I want it right about there. All right. Get the spider webs off. And boom. A little shelf. Now, as I play this excess glue, hot glue, if you don't want it there, just pull it on off. Um, that's why sometimes I'll smear it because the lumps, I want the glue there, but I don't want it lumped. So the only way I thought of doing it is smearing it, but I guess I could use white glue and save my fingers the pain. Sitting good, a little bit off. I weighed it down in the front and it'll be good. All right, so now I'm going to start painting this bad boy. A little bit of water, a little bit of brown, and I just hit the whole thing. So I've been playing 5th um, edition a lot here lately. Pretty much the only edition I've been playing only thing I've been playing, and I'm loving it. I'm loving the rules light system. I'm loving how they reverted back to, you know, if you don't like it, change it, man. Just It's cool. Get rid of it. I mean, I've never stopped doing it, but, you know, those other editions, some of them, not, they just had, like, a rule for every single thing, and then it, you spend so much time, like, looking up rules and stuff. And I don't like that piece of glue. It become overbearing. So yeah, I'm really feeling the fifth edition right now. Um, if you guys know any rules light systems that are pretty easy to learn, pretty simple, uh, comment or PM me. I'm interested in them. Fiasco, I've played Fiasco. That's pretty awesome. Really rules like <laughs> uh, really rules like you just kind of roll some dice at the beginning. And then you use those dice to determine, like, bonds and actions and things of that sort. And then you just kind of go from there, and that's was really cool. I'm going to pause this while I keep going. Okay, I've painted it down with a watered-down brown. And now I'm going to run a watered-down red over it. I want this, oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to dry brush, not a water down. Why did I stick my brush in the water? I'm going to dry brush a red on it. I want this to kind of have like a a red flavor to it. Like a, they got it, the wood was kind of had a red flavor to it. So yeah, I'm going to add this red all over it really quickly to give it that now I will go back over this because I don't want it to look like right now it kind of looks like a horror house um, bookshelf like somebody got got on it <laughs> um, but I'll fix that really quickly all right yeah just a quick brush around it and try to get red um i'm not gonna put red on the bottom now nah, i will just in case they flip it over which they probably will 
or break it. All right, so I got the red all throughout it. I don't know if you can actually see the coloring or not, but it's there. So what I will do now at this point is I want to, I'm going to try to lighten this up and I'm going to dry brush a yellow, very light yellow in it very light yellow with it oh yeah I'm liking that oh yeah hope my music isn't overbearing or bothering anybody um, I'm really rocking out to this dude lately James he gets it in I'll pause while I do Alright, so I went over it with the yellow. I actually went over it with a lot heavier yellow than I had thought. Because I decided that, that was the look I wanted. So now I'm going through and I'm darkening up in here. I'm going up adding a little bit of shadow to everything. Darkening up corners underneath. Um, darkening up the yellow in spots. And the red. And I think that's it. I'm going to leave it alone. Boom. Got it together. I don't know if it's really showing the color like I want it to, but it looks good. So, at this point, you got your shelf ready. Ah, Java Java Bean, y'all. So, now what I've done is, with those tiny little jars, I've added stuff. My son went to the science museum. And came back with a um, bigger version of one of these. Boom. Um, of amethyst. So I, this is actually amethyst in this. So I thought that was really cool. So what I'm going to do with this amethyst is I'm going to put it on this shelf. Bam. Now... Honestly, I should be using white glue. I told myself I was going to use white glue this time. But the only thing with the white glue is I would have to arrange things and wait for it to dry. And I couldn't just be like, check that out, you know. Um, so I'm going to use the hot glue. I would prefer, I would recommend that you guys use the white glue because it pretty much won't show up at all. It will just look like it's sitting there. So, I got these things from the one of the pouch packs from Walmart. Tiny, tiny little beads. So, what I would do with this tiny little bead is a little bit of hot glue. And I will glue it to this tiny little bead. Boom. And I got that together. So, now I got that. And it's not straight. I actually need to glue that again. This glue is very hot. It's been sitting for a while now. Oh! I can feel it. Once again, scrape away anything excess that doesn't appeal to your vision. And I use white ends on the other ones. I'm going to use a bronze color with this one and if your little beads have holes in them make sure the holes are like lined up with the hole in the scroll case part otherwise it's just kind of an OCD thing for me didn't perfect so I will put that there like that flip around to the other side And put that there like that boom and you got a tiny little scroll and it's got the little things on the end of it and I'll just add this to the I'll put some glue up here and some down here and I'll add this 
to the shelf like that a little bit more it's not so boom you got that scroll on there so I'm gonna go about adding things I got this also Stuck a toothpick in the top for a cork, and it's just a beautiful little bead. Okay, so I also made a little wand for it out of a toothpick, which I'm getting ready to show you. I added a skull to it, which I got from the dollar store. Alright, and this is what I threw together. You got the little wand right here and you got some of these potions I don't know what they're gonna be they could be some type of alchemical thing or anything of the sort um skull in the middle scrolls components more potions and that's how it's done sorry this video took so long I learned some things on the next one I'll make it a little bit shorter thanks for sticking around later